If you're looking at drill drivers in the $150 range, you may be considering the Makita and the Rigid one half inch cordless drills. They are about the same price with just $10 between them. However, there are some significant differences between these two drills. Let's take a closer look at the Makita XF-D10R and the Rigid Brushless R86009K cordless drill drivers. Let's take a look at the Makita. The Makita XF-D10R comes in a kit with a hard case, charger, and two 18-volt, 2-amp-hour lithium-ion batteries. The kit goes for $169. It has a three-year limited warranty on the drill, battery, and charger. Extra two amp hour batteries go for $79, and a replacement charger is $99. Currently, Makita has a number of additional tools in their lineup, including a hammer driver drill, angle drill, impact driver, impact wrench, circular saw, reciprocating saw, cutoff angle grinder, rotary hammer, dry roll screwdriver, metal cutting saw, blower, fluorescent flashlight, xenon flashlight, and a compact job site radio, all which use the same battery and charger. Let's take a look at the Rigid. The Rigid Brushless R86009K 1.5 inch drill comes in a kit with a soft tool bag, charger, two 1.5 amp hour lithium ion batteries, a handle, a dual point driver bit, and has a three year limited warranty. You can also apply online for a lifetime parts and service warranty. This kit retails for $159 at Home Depot. An extra rigid 2 amp hour battery and charger go for $99 as a bundle. In addition to this drill, Rigid has a hammer drill, impact driver, reciprocating saw, circular saw, orbital sander, grinder, oscillating tool, and flashlight all that work with their line of 18 volt lithium batteries and chargers. The Makita drill runs variable speeds up to 1900 RPM. It weighs in at 3.3 pounds. It has a very comfortable grip and balance enough to manage the 480 inch pounds of torque produced by the drill. This model does have a keyless chuck. It comes with a dual speed transmission and 22 different clutch settings. It also has a belt hook. The Makita does come with a light, but you do not have to initiate the drill motor to activate it. The rigid 18 volt brushless drill can run variable speeds all the way out to 2100 RPM. It weighs in at 3.6 pounds. The grip and balance are very comfortable and has plenty of torque at 650 inch pounds. This model has a dual speed transmission and a clutch with more than 100 torque settings. It also comes with a belt hook. The Rigid comes with an LED light mounted just above the battery and can be activated by the push button at the bottom of the handle as you see here or by the trigger for the drill itself. The Makita battery is a 2 amp hour lithium ion battery and like most drills in this category it does have a charge indicator to help you to manage their charge better. As I mentioned earlier the Rigid comes with two 1.5 amp hour lithium ion batteries these batteries have a power indicator that allows you to manage them more effectively and batteries are sold in bundles running around $99. So let's summarize. When it comes to power, the Rigid has the edge with 170 inch pounds more torque, 100 more RPM and is brushless while the Makita is a brush drill. Also the Rigid has considerably more clutch settings. When it comes to price, here again, the Rigid has the advantage with the kit, extra batteries, and chargers somewhat less than the Makita. Warranty is a wash with both kits coming with a 36 month warranty. The Rigid can be extended to a lifetime service warranty with registration. My viewers who have applied for the extended warranty have had mixed reviews. Overall, I would have to say the Rigid is a better value at this price point. I hope you found this video useful. If so, you might want to take a look at my cordless drill playlist, which includes several other drill reviews. You can find it in the description below. If you like this video, please press like and share with your friends. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks for watching, 
And as always, good luck on your projects.